Hi, and welcome back to another episode in our Minecraft Castle Survival Series. Today, we're going to be going into the nether to find ourselves some ancient debris. We can then use this to make netherite armor, and we can enhance it to better have a chance when we go fight the Ender Dragon. So, am I going to be able to find netherite? Yeah, it's not too difficult, but we'll have a look. Stay tuned to the end of the episode to see how much I can get hold of today. And if you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe so you don't miss any other episodes. Let's get straight into it. And we're back to our castle survival series. So here we are in my home. Going to give you a quick tour before we carry on, just because it's not been happening for a while. Uh, I've not given you a tour, so uh, we'll get into that. So you've seen, obviously, you know, where my house not changed. Got the librarians we've seen in a different episode. Still haven't got any more. We'll work on that. I might try breeding them, but I just, yeah, the villagers annoy me, so we'll get to that. So this is uh, my area. This is where I, my mining, I just stick with the iron, getting through that. This is my chest. I've added a few more because I was running out of space. Um, There's my crafting and anvils. Um, and this is the mine. I've actually not been down here and showed you this one. So this one goes all the way down to diamond level. Which is a long way down. So get my sword because sometimes you get mobs spawn. Um, I've tried to keep it as light as possible. And as you can see, yes, it is just strip mining. It is super boring, but it's very effective for diamonds. And this is obviously where I got a lot of the cobblestone, which we built the mob spawner with. So it does have its advantages. And as you can see, yeah, it just goes on and on and on. Goes a good hundred chunks in each direction. Um, and it's just, yeah, nice, easy way of finding diamonds and other resources I need. So that was it. Diamond mine, not very ex exciting, but serves a purpose. I might create a little rail cart going up and down here at some point, but not today. And then nothing's really changed. Oh, it's getting dark. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, let's do this when it's light. Uh, will probably be easier. Now let's try the tour again. So here you can see my pumpkin and melon farm. I've extended it off camera. Farm, I've, it's not really changed much. No need to upgrade at the moment. Uh, real simple. Farm, this is where I store everything from the farm. Simple. Got the cobblestone generator and our campfire. Here's our gift to my wife. Uh, she likes cats, so as we've been on the travels, we found cats. We put them in there. Nothing really exciting in the chest. Just more sentimental. It's my son's house. He does pop on every now and then. Nothing in his mailbox. Uh, this is our crafting. Oh, and uh, a horse. Obviously, Anthony seems to have got himself a horse. Uh, his sheep now. Here's the uh, enchanting table. Uh, maximum level. And these are the other villagers we've had, as you've seen in previous episodes. I, I still need to get some more. And our map. Which hasn't update, haven't been updated because it hasn't got the spawner. And there's a house I built on top, which I haven't actually found a purpose for. Right. Out here is our sugarcane farm. Uh, plenty of sugar canes to make paper. Uh, here's a cactus farm for more experience, uh, which I built off screen. Uh, the cactus basically breaks up and goes, oh, 20 cents, that's good. Breaks up in there. And here's our mob spawner, which I built previous episode. And this is what I meant water with the slabs makes it a lot easier. They don't blow up. Uh, yeah, and I created a waterfall here, goes up. So I've created what's classes and away from keyboard uh, section. So if I want mobs to spawn, I just come up here eventually. And then here on the roof, I've got another one glass case up there. So I just go stick the character in there and just go make myself a cup of tea or something while I wait. Very British. Um, and then that just helps mobs to spawn inside and then eventually fall into the hole. Really simple. And it's much quicker getting down. So there's the castle. That's the upgrade at the moment. Nothing extra has fallen in. That's a shame. 
It's a bit slow. I must admit, this one is quite slow. Uh, I probably need to light up a load of the caves underground. But I just I cannot be bothered. Uh, so we've had a fair bit of loot fall in. But nothing exciting. Right. So that was it. That's the tour, quick update tour of the castle. Today's mission is Neverite. We are going to go hunt down some Neverite ore. So to do that, we are going, surprise, surprise, to the nether. So we've got the portal here. So we were quite blessed when we first spawned into this world that we had a nether portal near the entrance, um, near, near where we started. Not any villages, though, but there we go. So we're going to go into the nether. Hate that noise. So we've been a couple of times. Uh, if I can remember which way we're going, says start and yes. Yeah. So we have been here before. Right. So we start off on a little floaty island above a huge lava lake, which is no good. Now we have been on the hunt and found ourselves a never fortress before while we're in here. Um, but that's not good. I've put the coordinates on because we need that 88 to say about 15. So we are quite high. So we've already built this stairwell going down before, but it only comes down to 59. That's not good enough. So we're going to continue it down this way. And make use of the iron pickaxe while I've got it. Because you cannot mine ancient debris with anything less than diamond or never, uh, never I pickaxe. So let's build this staircase down to level 15, level 18, 17. There we go. We'll go down to 15. I think it's it's between 8 and 22, I think. Um, you get ancient debris spawn, but we'll stick with 15 uh, as we're going to blow up everything anyway. So now my idea aim is to make a really long tunnel, sort of like strip mining for diamonds, but I'm going to make a really long tunnel uh, on this level, being careful for little spots of uh, lava. Definitely don't want to end up running into any of that. And then we'll get through to the Neverite part. So we're now running down our tunnel. We've gathered a few beds. We've made a few beds. As you can see, nice long tunnel. That's what you need. Haven't found any ancient debris within this long tunnel. Typical. But it doesn't normally spawn in, in large groups. So unfortunately, you will miss some if you're doing it strip by strip. So as we're in the never, beds essentially work just as good as TNT. So we're at the end, we're going to place the bed. We're going to put ourselves a block to protect ourselves, which doesn't always work. And then we just click the bed. Uh, not close enough, I don't think. It's weird. No, I'm too close. So, ow. But I have blast protection, so that's good. So we'll clear some of this fire and we'll see if we found any never right. Ancient never even. Yes, yes, there it is. One, two, and three blocks. So that's good. So I've got oh we've got some lava as well. That's no good. So we don't want that. So we'll just we'll just block you off, I think. Thank you very much, but no thank you. So that's not bad. First block blast, and we've got three blocks. There's one there, and two above us. Typically above this lava part as well. Thank you. There we go. That's not bad. Three for one go. If they're all this uh, good. Oh, no, four. There we go. Got four for one go. Four ancient debris. Happy days. 
So as you can see, we have plenty of beds. So we're going to literally just systematically do this down back all the way back down our corridor. Right, here we are back in the castle and just to update uh, well these are the beds we'll get to those for the next time and here we are combining neverite scrap with gold creates neverite ingot and there we have five ingots and two lots of scrap so not bad for a day's work we've got some more beds so we're going to go back in and get some more but slow work so there you go not bad for a day well, that's the end of the episode. I don't think that was too bad for ancient debris, but we'll see how we get on next time. If you like what you saw, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more episodes in the future, and check out these videos for more content from myself. Thanks for watching.